friends, it's Miss Virginia here. I'm here to do a 3D shape scavenger hunt. So we've been talking a lot about shapes at school with um, circles and triangles and squares, and they're all 2D shapes, they're flat. So you can only see them from two sides, that's why they call them 2D. And 3D shapes you can see from um, all the different sides, and they are, uh, they're whole basically. They are not, there's volume to them, they're not flat. So you can really grab onto them. You can see them when you turn them. So like this piece of paper is flat. I can really only see it from the two sides, but a 3D shape, you can see from all the different sides. It's solid, it's not flat. So we're gonna look at some of the 3D shapes. So the first one that a lot of people know is a sphere. A sphere is not a circle. It's not flat like a circle. It is round and it's around the whole way around and it rolls. And a lot of times you might think of a sphere when you think of a ball, a ball, or I always think of the globe of our earth. Another one is a cube. A cube has squares on all six sides. And I think of um, some of our blocks. Uh, another cube is dice when you roll dice. So make sure you think of this as something that is square and like this, it is not flat. It's got square sides, but it's solid. All right, and we've got a cylinder. It's round at the top and it's kind of reminds me of columns, like when we build with our blocks or a can. And uh, this also rolls, but it has circles and um, it's solid in the middle. A cylinder. I also have a cone. I always think of party hats and ice cream cones or the cone paper cups we sometimes use when we get water at school. So a cone has a circle on the bottom, but a point at the top. So it's different than a triangle um, because it's not flat and the circle at the bottom keeps it so it points all the way up. And it's uh, smooth around the sides and round. And we have a rectangular prism. It's kind of like a cube, but long with rectangles on four of its sides at least four of its sides, could be more. All right, so we have a rectangular prism, we have cone, cylinder, cube, and sphere. And today I'm gonna go on a little scavenger hunt. Um, I've already grabbed some of the items so I don't have to bring you all around, but I'm gonna uh, do a little scavenger hunt. I'm gonna look for a cube, a sphere, a cone, a rectangular prism and a cylinder in the house. And it says 3D shape, 3D shape hunt. And you could do this at your house. You can have a, a family member draw this out for you. They're also available to be printed on our uh, Google Classroom, or you can just watch this video and find things along with me, all right? Or think of them in your brain, okay? So I'm gonna look at this and I'm gonna think, I'm gonna look for the cube first. So let me think about something that's shaped like a cube. Maybe ice cubes, hmm, some boxes. What else is shaped like a cube? I said dice, and I saw this, and it's shaped like a cube. It is a box of tissues. It's got squares, mostly squares. It's a cube, so I'm gonna take my marker and I'm gonna cross out cube. Oh, if it'll open, there we go. So I found a cube. I can either put a check mark or I'm gonna cross it out. So I found cube. I found that on my scavenger hunt. All right, so I'm gonna look for a rectangular prism, a rectangular prism, rectangular prism. Hmm, I'm thinking sometimes milk cartons kind of look like rectangular prisms. Our blocks, if I had toy blocks, look like rectangular prisms. Hmm. What else looks like a rectangular prism? A lot of boxes. I'm thinking maybe this box of pasta looks like a rectangular prism. It's not flat. I can see it from all the different sides and it's got rectangles, long on two sides, short on two sides, rectangles on every side. It's a rectangular prism prism. So it's different than the cube. The cube is squares, but the uh, pasta box is rectangles. 
all the sides are long. Some of the sides are longer or wider than each other. These ones are all the same. So I'll cross out rectangular prism. All right, so let's see what I have next. A sphere. So this is not a circle. This is something that's round. It could roll. It's not flat. It's three-dimensional. So I'm going to think of things that are shaped like a sphere. Ooh, an orange. What else could be shaped like a sphere? Hmm. Maybe a soccer ball? Hmm, not a football. It's kind of long and pointy at two ends. What else is shaped like a sphere? Hmm. Oh. A ball. I've got a ball whoop, that's shaped like a sphere. It goes round and round and round and round and round. It's not flat. It's not a circle. I'm gonna look at compared to this flat circle lid. This is a flat circle. You can see that this has solidness. Well, it's, it's hollow, but it's um, a three-dimensional shape. This is just a flat shape, a circle, and a sphere. So I have a sphere ball. All right, so let's cross sphere off our list. Pull it up. I'm gonna slant right, slant left. All right, I found the cube. I found the rectangular prism. I found the sphere. I'm gonna look for a cylinder, a cylinder. Hmm, things that look like cylinders. Ooh, toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls are cylinders. Sometimes water bottles might look like cylinders or I have my coffee mug, looks like a cylinder. It's got a round circular top and a round circular bottom and it's smooth all the way around. It doesn't have any points or edges. That's a cylinder. Hmm. Oh, my cup is kind of shaped like a cylinder. One cylinder at the top and a cylinder at the bottom, circles. It's kind of got a bump in the middle though. But I was thinking maybe a can. A can is a cylinder that's really easy to find in your house. You've got the circle on the bottom and a circle on the top and it's round around the uh, outside, smooth. It doesn't come to a point like a pyramid or a cone and it is a cylinder. So it's different than just a flat circle because it has all these different sides to it. It is solid and it's not flat. I see it when I put my hands on it. All right, so let me go ahead and cross out cylinder. My cone or my can, I'm saying other 3D shapes, my can is a cylinder. So I'm gonna go slant right, slant left, and I crossed out cylinder. Next on my scavenger hunt is a cone, a cone. This one's kind of tricky to find in my house, um, but I was thinking of a party hat or of the drinking cups, ice cream cones. I love ice cream cones, but the cone I found that has a point at the top and a circle at the bottom was a funnel. A funnel is a cone. One second, a cone, funnel. A funnel is a cone. So that comes down to a point at the bottom and there's a circle at the top. There's the point right there. It is a cone. Maybe there's other cones at your house you can think of and other shapes for sphere and rectangular prism and cube. I'm gonna go ahead and cross out cone. Oh, and soccer cones. That's a good one, or the orange cones. There we go. Slant right, slant left. And I completed my 3D scavenger hunt. So I found a cube, I found a rectangular prism, I found a sphere, I found a cylinder, and I found a cone. And you can do the same thing at your house. I'm sure you can find a lot of these 3D shapes and you can comment on the video or on Google Classroom or you can send me a picture on Remind of you doing your 3D shape hunt. All right, friends, bye-bye.